far and I hope you guys are spending your day with all of your loved ones whether it be a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, friends, family, and hey, if you guys don't have anything to do tonight, this is why I wanted to film this tutorial for you, so you can sit back, eat some popcorn, grab a drink, and you can tune into this video. So if you guys want to see how I got this Valentine's Day inspired makeup, then please keep on watching. I'll take care of you. First things first, we need to hydrate the under eye situation so that way when we are going out for our date night, we are gonna be glowing from within. So while I'm doing my makeup, I'm just gonna put a oil-based primer on my face. This is by Tasha, just to let that sink into my skin. And then we're just gonna move straight to the eyes. I'm gonna be priming my eyelids with my CoverGirl primer and don't mind my breakout situation right now. I know it's not cute, but life goes on. I'm using my BH Cosmetics 28 Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I actually love this palette. I pick it up all the time, it's super pigmented and I love a good range of matte colors. So I'm just building up this red color and then I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Radiance Palette to add that kind of mauve color in there as well. And then I'm going to go into this Smashbox Concealer and I'm going to carve out the very center of my lid to have a nice halo effect and I'm really just diffusing this and then building the color on either side so it has a really nice ombre radiance from the inside out and then I'm just packing a little bit more on so it's super intense and then I'm just blending it out with my fingers going back and forth with your finger and your brush to make sure it looks amazing Adding a little pop of bling to the very center of my eyelid with my Stila Glitter Eyeshadow, you guys know it. And then next, I wanted to do something super cute for Valentine's Day, so I'm just carving out little hearts with my Smashbox Concealer, and really just take your time, and it really helps to use a super tiny defined eyeliner brush. So next, I'm going to be doing my face and removing these amazing hydration pads. I'm going to go again with another primer. This is by Smashbox, the oil primer, and I just want to be glowing from within for this look. Testing out this new foundation today, this is the Smashbox foundation, and I'm absolutely obsessed with how it applied. It was so super easy to blend out, and I know that my face and my body are a different color. I did get a spray tan, so that is why, but that's okay because the power of makeup will help us later on. And the most amazing thing about this foundation is it has a contour stick on the other side, and it's just as easy to blend out, which is amazing. For concealer today, I'm trying out a new one. This is the Smashbox Concealer. They sent me a nice little PR package, so that is why I'm testing out all of these Smashbox goodies. So to bronze up my face, I'm using my MAC at Give Me Send Bronzer, and I'm going to town so that my face and my body can finally match. I'm going to be highlighting today with my ABH palette, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette. I feel like it gives me such a nice glow, and I'm highlighting all the high points of my face, of course. So I quickly went ahead and smoked up my bottom lash line and threw on some mascara, and to finish off this look, I'm going to be using my ColourPop Creeper Liquid Lipstick. And this part is key, especially if we're going to be doing any smooching tonight. enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check out my last video that I filmed for Glam Masters my Glam Masters q and um, I let you guys know how I got on the show what episode I'm on because I'm not on the first episode so go check out the last video to see all of the info on that and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I'll take care of you.